Earth, our cozy blue marble. We've got forests, oceans, and Wi-Fi. What more could we want, right? But scientists think there are planets out there that might actually be better for life than Earth. Places with more water, more stable climates, maybe even more time for life to evolve. So today we're exploring five super habitable worlds, planets that could, in some ways, outshine Earth as a home for life. First up, Kepler-442b, about 1,200 light years away in the constellation Lyra. It's about 1.34 times Earth's radius and 2.3 times the mass. So yes, you'd feel a little heavier there. But that stronger gravity would help it hold on to a thick, protective atmosphere, which is great for life. Now, here's the cool part. It orbits a K-type orange dwarf star. These stars are smaller, cooler, and live much longer than our sun, tens of billions of years. That means Kepler-442b could have a much more stable environment, giving life billions of extra years to evolve. Earth might be a teenager in cosmic terms, but Kepler-442b, it's a patient grandparent with plenty of time to nurture life. It receives about 70% of the sunlight Earth does, which likely keeps it cooler, but still warm enough for liquid water. If Earth is a bustling city, Kepler-442b is a quiet countryside retreat. Imagine standing on its surface, under an orange-tinted sky, with a stable climate and no extreme heat waves. If stability equals habitability, Kepler-442b scores very high. Next, let's dive into Kepler-22b, about 600 light years away. This planet is about 2.4 times Earth's radius, which puts it in the category of a super-Earth. Scientists think it may be a water world, a planet covered in vast oceans with very little land. Now think about this. On Earth, life began in the oceans. So if Kepler-22b is indeed a water world, it might be a paradise for aquatic life forms. Imagine creatures larger than blue whales roaming alien seas under unfamiliar constellations. With no continents to create deserts or harsh climates, the whole planet could be one giant life-supporting ocean. It orbits a G-type star, similar to our sun, and its distance places it firmly in the habitable zone. The average temperature might hover around 22 degrees Celsius, 72 degrees Fahrenheit? Room temperature! That's like Earth's sweet spot. Scientists even calculated its habitability score at 0.84 out of 1, which is higher than Earth's own score in some models. So yeah, Kepler-22b might just be the universe's ultimate vacation resort if you like swimming. Now, let's zoom closer to home. Proxima Centauri b, only 4.2 light years away. That's practically next door compared to the others. It's about 1.3 times Earth's mass and orbits within the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf. The good news? If it has an atmosphere, temperatures could allow liquid water. The bad news? Red dwarfs are known for stellar flares, huge blasts of radiation that could strip away atmospheres. But if Proxima b has a strong magnetic field, like Earth, it could protect itself. That means alien life is still on the table. Imagine standing on its surface. The star would look enormous in the sky, glowing red, casting everything in a twilight hue. Days might last weeks due to tidal locking, so one side could be scorching while the other's frozen. But the middle, the twilight zone, might be just right. And the best part? At only 4.2 light years away, this is the planet we could reach first. With future spacecraft, it's possible Proxima b could be our first real destination beyond the solar system. Next, we visit one of the most famous systems in astronomy, TRAPPIST-1, 40 light years away. This tiny red dwarf star hosts seven Earth-sized planets, and one of the best candidates for life is TRAPPIST-1e. It's about the same size as Earth, with an estimated atmosphere that could support liquid water. Scientists think it might even have continents and oceans, making it one of the most Earth-like planets we've ever discovered. Because TRAPPIST-1 is a small, cool star, its planets orbit much closer than Earth does to the Sun. 
So from TRAPPIST-1e, you'd see its sister planets as bright disks in the sky, closer than our moon appears. Can you imagine looking up and seeing multiple Earth-like worlds hanging above you? The system is also incredibly stable. TRAPPIST-1e may have a balanced climate, gentle radiation, and billions of years of potential habitability. If Earth is our safe home, TRAPPIST-1e could be our adventurous twin. Finally, let's meet LHS 1140b, located 40 light years away in Cetus. This is a super-Earth with about 1.4 times Earth's radius and 6.6 .6 times the mass. The gravity would be stronger, but that's a good thing. It helps the planet hang on to a thick atmosphere, which shields life from radiation. It orbits a quiet red dwarf star, which is less active than most, meaning it's not constantly blasting the planet with flares. Its orbit keeps it in the habitable zone, where liquid water could exist on the surface. Here's the kicker. If Earth's climate gets wilder in the future, LHS 1140b could actually be more stable long-term. A thick atmosphere could regulate temperatures, preventing extreme heat or cold. Think of it as a planet with built-in climate control. If you're looking for a cosmic upgrade, this could be the luxury condo of habitable planets. So are these planets really better than Earth? Some have more water, some orbit longer living stars, some may have thicker atmospheres that protect life even better than ours. Each world is unique. Earth is our home, but it's far from the only option. And who knows, maybe one day we'll set foot on one of these planets. If you had the chance, would you choose the endless oceans of Kepler-22b, the twilight skies of Proxima b, or the cosmic neighborhood of TRAPPIST-1e? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more journeys into the cosmos. Because while Earth is amazing, the universe may have even better homes waiting for us.